thanks for watching our next video and uh, we are at the piano workshop and today like always we show you some tools and accessories one of the major problem in restoration is to get the access to the bottom of the piano and you can look at most uh, restored pianos the bottom was uh, just skipped or just maybe minimum uh, they did on this especially if we want to just be involved in uh, soundboard restoration trap work make it beautiful uh, underneath we need to uh, be able to rotate our piano in order to get access to the bottom of the piano then you can get to every portion of your soundboard and uh, trap work and uh, unfortunately it's not an easy thing to do some manufacturers create this uh, big uh, rotating um, tool uh, on a straight line uh, but uh, in order to do it in the shop you have to do a little bit different approach and uh, in our shop i designed a special tool to rotate the piano to solve this problem uh, uh, this tool um, just built from two frames one frame is stationary, it's uh, welded with heavy duty metal angles and the cartridge with a ball bearing, a, a particular southern clamp that you, later you will see how it works, and the electric hoist that uh, enable it goes up and down. That's from the left side. You just clamp it to the front of the piano and uh, another one that uh, uh, you can roll it. It's uh, from the back of the piano. Same thing, cartridge, frame, electric hoist, and the clamp. Uh, in order to hook up to this complicated surface, you need a certain clamp here. On the back, uh, that's uh, the clamp that designed this way. You see, it's a pretty, just like, unique clamp with uh, moving pads and uh, uh, th this portion is be connected to uh, to this uh, lifting thing. Uh, you install it look, uh, kind of in the middle, uh, a little bit maybe uh, on the left side of the piano. The first of all, you just hold it uh, with a small clamp like that, just position it. And uh, then you apply two heavy clamps using the pads. Put the pad here and just you, uh, you basically lock it here just a little bit tight not really a little bit tight and uh, on on this side sorry i just want to put the pad here you put a pad just to protect the wood and you just move it to the proper direction and we tighten it uh, Now, now, you can uh, hook up another in the front on the key bed. That's, that's the one. You position it here on the piano, like this in the front. And using the same big clamps, I just show you. You just connect it to the key bed. And this is a strong portion of the piano. It's gonna be just supported all the way in the piano. And we're gonna rotate it 360 degrees. We get access to any portion of the sound. We roll the piano to our plane. Here is the, the very important portion is the connector. You see? We connect it to our clamp like this. You just roll the piano here and lower it like that. Once you connect it, you put a bolt here, just lock it. And it's done. This is gonna be your switch when we need it. And the same thing here, we just take this screw off and roll it like that and then put it down adjust it a little bit like that once you connect it you put a ball 
that's it, we lock it. And basically, you just like put it a little bit on the line, but we don't have to be on the line because in our clamps we got a U-joint. U-joint is just like can rotate in a different angles and there's no stress on the piano. Once we connected it now, it's time to do it. You see, I just leave them simultaneously from left and right. horizontal position but since we got the, uh, all our uh, mm, uh, connectors on the ball bearings we can rotate the piano you see we can just rotate it uh, and put it in any angle let's say like this vertical you got access to the soundboard to the track work or you can uh, work a ball of this like that if you if you want a piano in this position to inspect your ribs, it's okay too. You can work on the uh, locks of the legs if it needs something to be done, your trap work here. And if you want to just like turn the piano over, yeah, like this. And of course, you can roll it on the desired position, like that. And enable you to to do any type of work you can just sand it you can uh, fill the certain gaps or damages on the bottom of the piano then you can paint it and yeah. as you see it's uh, really really just like open you uh, uh, really just different perspective on uh, 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 doing the restoration and like I told you already we do all these things just for uh, to create some kind of uh, complete restoration process that later on we can get to another more important projects like in, the, in our custom pianos. And of course, if you be able to make uh, something like that for you, this definitely is open this perspective for you too. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, we show you uh, more tools on our next videos.